viewers. Today's video is about this car frame-o, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly because that's the way it's spelled, but who knows. Uh, Sirocco model 12 volt fan. Now there's two variants of that. There's a series one and a series two. The series one's now discontinued and replaced by the series two. Series one was built in China. The series two is apparently built in Canada according to the labeling. And there's been some improvements made in that. So we'll talk about that. Um, there are some issues with these. They were originally developed for the maritime industry for yachts. Um, and so there was a real focus on um, a highly efficient motor in them and so they're very low current draw particularly considering the volume of air that they move um, and you know some really good features with them as we'll go through on the video so let's have a look at these two and compare them and also talk about a couple of issues that I'm aware of uh, off the internet and other people have experienced in the bloody clocks oh that one's going off this one's ticking there's no end to it so this is the um, Sirocco one uh, and it's mounted up the normal way and vertically mounted. You can mount them horizontal, mount them vertically. Um, they've come from the marine industry. I think they were developed for that. Um, Car Framo is a Canadian company based in Ontario. And um, yeah, so I think the Yachties have been using this for a while. So the good thing, they can you park them um, and you can swing them out um, when you want to use them. And they're a gimbal mount, so not only does it go swing this way, but it also allows you to swing it so you can adjust the fan to where you want it to blow. So you're lying on the bed, you want the thing to blow on you, it swings that way, and it swings this way, and it swings this way. Look at that. How good's that? So you can really adjust it down to do to to you know get the absolute best effect. So it's about 250 mil, eight inch fan, I think it is. Um, it's got three speeds controlled by the, in this case, the little rabbit button up the top here. I don't know what the rabbit's for, but anyway, there's a rabbit. And you turn that on and away goes the fan. Nice and quiet, very quiet. So um, that's on speed one and it's moving a lot of air you know that's probably that's all we have it on at night when we're sleeping generally because you you know it'd have to be really hot to want to have it any faster than that it's quite a substantial airflow it does have to be out from the wall because you've got to be able to suck air in so um it, it needs you've got to swing this thing out you can't it just is in completely ineffective when it's parked because uh, it can't suck any air in behind it but as i say good because it's you know multi-dimensional sort of operation really good and so in our case here i've got these mounted facing the beds because that's predominantly where we're going to use it but when you want to use it in the kitchen or if you want to cool down in the kitchen you simply move this arm around and you can have it blowing up the front so there there it is facing away from the bed it's now facing into the kitchen so, um, and again, I've got multiple speeds, so that's on speed one, that's on speed two, and that's on speed three. Now, I'm back here, I'm getting a very good breeze up here. Um, it's quite substantial. So I don't have any complaints about how well this fan works works really good and I could in fact move that around this is our seating area here I can move that right around and, and get it to orient down over there because as I said you can move it around to all these positions and that's now blowing down here and uh, quite effective very effective so that's the series one vibration is an issue with these and I don't know if you can hear that but that's resonating a little bit now on that speed not noticeable on speed number one uh, so we've also got a timer here timer switch so I turn it on and then you can have it for two hours four hours six hours or eight hours 
but with no lights on it's continuous so that will just run continuously now at the moment but very quiet high volume of air absolutely brilliant the way this thing works from the perspective that it can face any direction and any angle etc this mount is great now there's no thing here it doesn't matter you can't hurt your fingers on this plastic fan blades and the blade and the fan just stops so um don't be concerned about that that is the sirocco car framo version one let's have a look at the two here's the two looks the same more or less but no it's a bit different what have they changed? This one's mounted upside down. But they've moved the power switch and timer. Instead of being on this edge, which it is on the fan, the Series 1, it's now on the side. So we've got the power switch here. As you can hear, probably hear there, there is some vibration. And this is just the fan blades aren't, because they're a plastic blade, I guess they're not manufactured to very high tolerance and they've got a little bit of imbalance. That's on the highest speed. Low speed, you can't hear it. And as I said before, pretty much that's it. That's the speed we were running at. Um, great gimbal mount, etc., etc. So this thing, when you move it, you you lock it wherever you're putting it in. So this is what this is for up here. This is a locker. On the side here. We've got the timer again. The timer switch is selectable through the bottom button here. Got a little clock on it. Hasn't got a rabbit for the fan, it's just got a fan. So you push this timer and you can see the lights again. Now this fan's upside down, so that's the shortest period. These are now three hour blocks. That's three hours, six hours, nine hours, 12 hours. And continuous. So that's, so the same. They've just changed a little bit about the way the switching works for some reason. I'm not sure why they've done that. Um, so, same. Um, turn it off. You'll see this swings back, parks, you lock it, doesn't move when you're travelling. That's you know, nicely locked there now. Problems. With this one, this is the one that originally was fitted to the van when I got it, the Series 1. Um, I had two issues. I've had two issues with it. The fan stopped working, and that was because this, because of the way they do this gimbal mount here, uh, they run the wiring from the 12 volt wiring is two small wires that run down here through this hinge, and it's going through gaps. It's 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 just holes. It's not a rotating contact arrangement or anything, which I think that maybe they've changed on the new one. I believe that's different. But on this one. The two wires run down here through some gaps in the two parts of the component. The fan, the, this part here and this part here have got slots that they go through. Yeah, so you can hear that vibration in here. Um, and then from there, it travels up around the arm through this slot here, I think, from memory. Then it travels down through that arm at the back. That's hollow and gets to the motor. So I had to pull all that apart and re-put new wires in, um, in part of it here. It broke, I think it broke down in here, so I had to repair that and put new wires. So I had to run new wires through here. So that was, and that is not an uncom, un, uncommon fault with this model. There's been a couple of them that I've seen on the net talk about that. So, um, and not something that the average person's going to fix. And I, and I don't know if the dealers fix them or what happens. I, I don't know. I haven't. I haven't even bothered going down that road yet. The other problem I had with uh, vibration is obviously an issue. I've seen a few people speaking about the vibration. Um, and you can balance, you can get a, a fan blade balance kit. Somebody talked about that on the net. You'd have to, if you searched around, you would find that. And they're little clippy things that you clip onto the end of the blades here. And you try it in different positions on either side. And there's different sizes from memory. I've, I have seen these. They're little... Just a little thing that slips on the end of the blade and you you screw it down or crimp it or something and then you try different weights or you you know you put multiple ones on until the vibration it'll either get worse or it'll get better or you'll, you'll have to go to the other blade on the other side so um you can balance out that vibration but it's a function of this gimbal mount because the whole thing is 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 going to be certainly susceptible to anything being slightly out of balance this thing's going to be affected by it 
Other problem I had was this pin, locking pin failed. Um, because it, it, it's a plastic, it's a plastic pin, and here it is here, I'll show you. This is a small plastic pin with four teeth on it. And it pulls a ring down when you want to, when you want to unlock. You pull down on this and it pulls a ring down inside here to release this so that it can move. So, so that you can park it and then you, you push, it should retract by itself. Mine's a little bit tight now, which is a good thing, but yeah this i had to make that i had to make a wooden version of this i had to carve it out from a piece of wooden dowel which was a pain in the ring but i did it and it's working good enough but i've written to um car framo and said i wanted this pin and they said bad luck we don't make parts for that fan anymore the series one is discontinued model well might be it's only five years old really that's as good as you can do. I thought it was a relatively good product. But um, more, you know, that that's really an irrelevant answer because guess what? Here's the same bloody pin in here. This fan is less than 12 months old. It's the current model. Exactly the same arrangement. They haven't changed anything. It does exactly the same job on that. That pin is the same. So... Maybe I've got a Gen Y that just didn't bother asking the next question to say, what part do you need? Because they've assumed that it, uh, it's a housing or something. I don't know, but I mean, most of it's still the same. But anyway, I've written to them now and said, I've got this one. I want a pin. And I'll be interested to see what they come back and say. So that's a that's a failing. And I've spoken to other people and seen some other stuff about this pin failing. So, And I don't believe the dealers carry any parts for them in Australia. And, you know, they put, yeah, it's only 140 bucks. Yeah, well... 140 bucks isn't the cheapest fan on the market you know think you know since this is a current model how hard is it for the manufacturers to supply a bloody pin that's must be part of their assembly one they must have buckets of these things anyway we'll see what they come back and say um so pins a possible mechanical failure point i believe they fixed the wiring in here and they've got rotating contacts in there now so those wires don't get twisted up inside the inside the arm um and vibration may be a problem. I've seen a few comments about that. So, um, but you can fix that with by balancing the blades if it's a real concern. So um, there you go. Other than that, excellent fan. As I say, this feature that you can swing it around and do this is great because when we're sitting over here having dinner, we can put this fan on us here and this pumps out a lot of air. It's really good. They're a very, very good fan. So, uh, from all other aspects, as a fan, you're very good, but, you know, just these, be aware, that's the only issues with it. But I think this one's probably quite good. Still has the fan blade issue, certainly, where it, you know, tends to resonate when it's mounted on, these are a plywood wall, you know, so there's a uh, propensity for them to drum and vibrate. Okay, quick rundown, that's the, uh, that's the two models of Sirocco, Sirocco 1 and Sirocco 2 fans. Thanks for watching.